This was one of the hardest videos I've ever had to watch. Seeing a content creator that the world considers our little brother experiencing his first heartbreak was absolutely insane. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Lord James Tucker, let me put you on. See, Lord James Tucker has been going viral for the last couple of years now due to these interactions with his mama on Instagram and TikTok. You cry right now. Okay, so if I'm crying, what that got to do with anything? You that mean that mean you didn't stand up for yourself. What you mean I didn't stand up for myself? Whatever people say you like, you can't trust them, mama. What? You can't trust them. I, who told you about trusting somebody? You got you can't you can't you can't let nobody say what they won't say about you. You, you just forget about it. Low James resonate with millions of people because we see ourselves in him and we also have watched this kid grow from being a toddler to now he's a preteen. So we feel like we know him, like we've experienced and watched Low James experience his first heartbreak. I know what I'm gonna do when I go back to school tomorrow. I'm gonna look right in the eyes. No, you're not. Mama, listen to what I'm gonna do. I'm go, we're going to go to recess, and I'm going to look in the eyes, and I'm going to tell her I love her. Dang! No, you're not! Yes, I am! No, Mama, you don't get the point. She cute. So? That's not what you go to school for, though. I know. I know. what. I know, but I have this problem. I have this problem. What problem do you have? Because my girlfriend cheating on me. You James. know how I feel, Mama? If James. you was me and you had a girlfriend like like me, if you, if you was me, you would 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 know what I feel. James. Now, Lord James could be described as a kid who was fearless, who was really protective of his family, because in the videos we really only see him and his mom. We've never seen Lord James' father, so Lord James is essentially the man of his household. And that's really apparent when you see him arguing with his mama because he's really protective of his little sister. Oh. Give me my sister. No, she's not going with you. I ain't leaving till you give me my sister. <laughs> well, all right. Well, you coming with me no, then. No, I'm not. I ain't going with you. I want my sister. Call the dog. I want my sister. Get the call. I want I gotta give his mama credit because as far as we concerned, Lil Jane's father is not in his life, but he still grew up to be a pretty respectful kid. And he grew up with lessons that a grandfather or a dad would instill in a young man, such as if you want to take out a man's daughter, you have to go to that man and ask for his permission. And we've seen Lil James do just that when he wanted to find a new girlfriend. He went to the father directly and asked the father for permission. You wanted JoJo to be your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So you asked her dad for permission. But he said no. <laughs> JoJo's dad is here. Uh, where's Donald? How you doing, sir? How you doing, Mr. Steve? Welcome to the show. What did you think when James approached you about this? Uh, when James first approached me, he caught me off guard because I thought he was just about to say some regular kid stuff. Can they go out to play or kick it? But he was like, can JoJo be my girlfriend? I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you seven years old at the time, so what about friends, best friends, get to know somebody or something? I know girlfriends, so okay. yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that's how you I You're a father, this your daughter. Yeah, so I, I had to break it down to him about it's not going to be no girlfriend right away like that, James. You got to get to know somebody. Y'all could be friends. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I respect him. He got, he got my attention with that. I can like how he came at me. James, did you understand what Mr. Donald was saying? Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, he was right. Yeah, as a father, because I would do the same thing. I'm <laughs> He's still a kid, but somehow he was still taught the very basic principles of how to respect a woman and how a woman should respect herself. Which is why Lil James was absolutely heartbroken, was traumatized when he seen his mama conducting herself like this in public. She throwing that thing back on another content creator called Rutnick. Now, I'll be real, bro. She throwing that turkey back. That turkey is dumping. <laughs> Mama thick as a mug. 
right? But Lil James comes and interrupt, and Rudd niggas like, I'm sorry, Lil Brett, I didn't know that was your mama. <laughs> From this angle, you really see how disgusted Lil James is with his mama. Look at the look on this kid's face. Bro, this kid is bewildered, right? But, you know, he gets a little bit more emotional. Because as he's trying to cool off and chill, the content creator is trying to rub it in his face. Right? Putting a camera in this man's face after dancing with his mama, after damn near deflowering his mama. Now, Lil James begins to cry, and his mama's laughing, not really comforting the kid. The kid ain't crying because his mama is dancing with a guy. Lil bro crying because he realizes his mama for the streets, bro. He realizes his mama is a thotty box. He realizes his mama is a bop. Most young men or men in general put their mamas and their girlfriends or wives on a pedestal. They believe their girlfriends or moms are unattainable. They believe that they are even lucky to be with their girlfriends. And they believe their dad just lucked up with their mama, that their mama is beyond approach. No man can really get at their mama. Their mama is unattainable. And then moments like this would teach them <laughs> that your mama is just like any other thought box out here, bruh. They bopping. Lil James probably looking like, damn, bruh. Is this easy, mama, to get you? Mama, you doing this in pub? Is this easy? You ain't even demand for him to take you out. You ain't even demand for him to buy you a drink. You ain't even demand for him to do something for you busting it wide open on a dance floor like this? Yo, yo, Lil James is heartbroken. Like most men are, right? Most men put their girlfriends on a pedestal and then they go to a concert and realize their girlfriend can get got like anybody in here. Most men put their girls on a pedestal and then they go to a concert and see their girlfriend screaming another man's song at the top of her lungs. That man enter the stage and just stands there like this. And they see their girlfriend scream, oh my, oh my God. And they realize, yo, my girl ain't no different than any other woman in here, bruh. Coming to the conclusion that your girlfriend ain't special is a little easier than coming to the conclusion that your mama ain't special. Especially for a young man like Lil James. Now, Lil James and his mama got a peculiar relationship. It's kind of like most single mamas and their sons, right? They are, you know, too close. You know, he is a little too comfortable checking her or saying certain things to her. You know, he truly thinks he's the man of the household. So for him as the man of the household, he'd been taught if a man wants to approach a woman who is under your guardianship, he has to come to you for permission. And this kid feels violated that his mama just gave it up like that in public you know so it'll be interesting to see man how their relationship go back to being after this particular situation y'all let me know in, in the comment section man, what do you guys think about this right did lord james mama do anything wrong or you know she deserves to have fun and lord james should stay in a kid's place let me know all right and if you're still watching click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out why you shouldn't google why adam 22 is currently trending on twitter click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks.